If you're in the market for a home in the Orlando area, or you're already a homeowner in Central Florida, and you're shocked by the cost of homeowner's insurance, you're not alone. This video will show you steps you can take to ensure your premiums stay as low as possible without sacrificing coverage. Hey everybody, it's Doug Packard, broker at Blue River Realty Group in Seminole County. It's no secret that the homeowner's insurance market in Florida is in a state of crisis. Customers who have paid their premiums for decades without filing any claims are now not being renewed and rates are increasing as much as 60%. 10 insurance companies active in Florida have become insolvent in the last three years. 1.2 million homeowners are now insured by the formerly last resort state-backed Citizens Property Insurance Company. In a moment, our mortgage lending partner, Martin Waring, will give you some valuable tips on keeping your insurance premiums lower. But first, let's take a quick look at the reason Florida homeowners insurance costs are the highest in the country and why we're paying three times the national average. Yes, hurricanes and hailstorms have had an impact, but not as much as you'd think. So what's the number one reason for this crisis? Litigation. You can thank these guys for that. Florida has 7% of the homeowners policies in the United States, but 80% of the litigation claims in this country. Litigation and fraudulent claims have driven prices through the roof. So what can you do? Let's hand it over to Marty. Hi everybody, this is Martin Waring with Loan Yap Mortgage. This week's tip I wanna to talk to you about your homeowners insurance. Yes, I know, I'm in the mortgage business and I'm speaking about homeowners insurance. But in Florida, they have recently had many, many problems with companies going out of business and premiums skyrocketing and most of my clients don't understand why. I'm gonna show you what the difference is with a live example. Yes, it's actually my mother's policies for this year and next year with the same exact carrier. Hi mom. And I'll show you how to get in front of the curve and how to shop appropriately before your ex date. As promised, I'm gonna show you a live example. Here's mom's house. Hi mom again. I just wanna show you the side by side comparison. Current policy and renewal. I took the agent out and I took the name of the carrier out, but you can see that it's the exact same and I'll tell you the differences in coverage and you'll see the difference in premium. So I'll put them up behind me, but the bottom line is my mom's current coverage was 332,000. They want new coverage of 416,000. The current premium that's going to expire was 3479. The new coverage is 6254. So we have a 25% increase in coverage or needed coverage for 80% increase in cost, which is crazy. I'm not blaming anyone, I'm just telling you these facts. So my, we went out shopping, because that's what we need to do before our policy expires. And we got a quote for 2200 as long as we have a positive inspection report, four point and wind mitigation. So one of the key things to know is when does your policy expire? Normally that expires on the anniversary date of when you purchased the home, because that's usually when you started your homeowner's insurance to begin with. So a good rule of thumb is to be 30 to 45 days out in advance. Normally you get some type of understanding from your agent. And if you are not, if you're shocked by that payment, ask your agent what you might be able to do to get in front of the curve. We went shopping independently, but the bottom line is it's okay to, you're just trying to find your best carrier for the best cost. So one of the big reasons that we've had this huge jump is a lot of litigation, a lot of uh, lawsuits about roofs and pipes and all kinds of things. But I can tell you what happens is, is that older homes get surcharged. They have higher claim ratings. So the bottom line is they're more expensive to insure. So a good example is I called my agent. She said, I can't give you any specifics, but let me give you a baseline. The baseline is $400,000 in coverage. And if the house was built in 1965 and has a good wind mitigation and a four point inspection with a good roof, it's 2870 as the base. If the home, the exact same home was 2005 with the exact same coverage, with a newer roof, good wind mitigation and four point inspection, 2100. The house is brand new. Obviously we don't need any inspections because it's just came out of the box, 1100. So over two and a half times more expensive just because the house is older. So. These inspections are very, very important. So let's talk about the four point. The four point inspection itself is the roof, plumbing, electrical, and HVAC. Um, they, this 
these costs for these two reports run from 150 to 300 dollars so i'll show you one that's 169 dollars but the bottom line is normally they run about 200 to 250 dollars for the package deal and the seven areas of the wind mitigation though you'll see this on these companies would be the construction year the roof covering what type of roof shingle tile etc the roof decking underneath the roof to wall attachments the roof geometry the secondary water resistance and the opening protection kind of give you a good idea as to what they're going to be looking for but here's really the tip get in front of the curve get 45 to 60 days in front if you can know when your policy is going to expire talk to your insurance agent have a relationship with them have them shop for you every single year to do a comparison you might need to get your home inspected every single year especially if it's older because the more risk you reduce from the insurance carrier, the less likelihood there will be a claim and the lower your premiums will be. I hope that helps you a lot and I'll see you next time. Thanks, Marty. That's great advice. If you're not buying a new or newer home, the four point and wind mitigation inspections will be critical in determining whether your homeowner's insurance policy premium will be palatable or give you extreme indigestion. At least you know what to do to be proactive. We always take these things into consideration when helping buyers find their perfect home. If you have any questions about homeowner's insurance or any real estate or Orlando area questions for that matter, please feel free to text, email, or call me anytime. Even post your questions in the comments below. We pride ourselves in using a lifetime's worth of knowledge to give you honest, no BS answers without the typical realtor rah-rah. If you contact me from these videos, you'll work directly with me You'll never be handed off to a 25-year-old team member that is in the process of learning the business. Your successful purchase is just too important. Be sure to hit those like, subscribe, and notification buttons so you'll know when we post a new video. We'll see you then.